Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. What's up everybody, it's Haley and I'm here with a new game for you called Despot's Game. And this is a really, really interesting one that just came out. In, it is an early access. It's a auto battler kind of unit selection synergy type of game. Uh, there's, it probably has similarities to other games, but I haven't really played many auto battlers, so I probably can't personally compare. It is a roguelike in the sense that you start a run uh, and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, it's it's really really interesting. So you recruit humans and units and uh, And you try to get synergies between different classes and relics that you pick up and stuff like that It has a great sense of humor. I gotta say it's kind of reminiscent could be developed even by the same people or at least published by the same people as games like uh, Maybe loop hero probably not that one, but it even has some kooky references like that in there, too uh, press any button is a like, similar sounding game if I remember correctly and stuff like that. Anyway, let's show the game real quick. The runs do tend to get long if you're going to take your time and think about things. So I'm going to try to go rather quickly. Uh, to start off, I'm just going to play in normal mode and I'm just going to use the classic setup. And here we go. All right, so we had to cut the video there because I actually lost one uh, really early on the first floor. Just tried to go for something. It didn't work, sadly. Uh, and yeah, I just got to... I, I literally lost on the first floor, but that can happen, it feels, in this game. It'll, I'd rather it happen where you die in the first, like, few minutes rather than, like, halfway through almost, I guess. It's, what, that, I mean, that's sort of a pro. It seems like if you make it, like, uh, halfway through, you're probably gonna make it at least toward the end. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of stupid logic, though. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna go in this room. This is gonna offer units for sale. So, uh, I gotta talk about the food mechanic real quick. So, these are the four units that we have. And, uh, that's how many units we have up here. And you consume food every time you walk into a new room. So, we were at 40. And when you walk in a new room, it subtracts the number of units you had from the food that you have. If you get negative food, then you get, like, a pretty bad debuff. You really want to stay on the positive side of food. There's, it seems like there's some places where it's okay to go negative or maybe some builds or something but for the most part you really got to keep up with the food and measure that really easily you can buy food in rooms and things like that these are our currency they're called tokens and yeah i might just sell this you can actually send humans into the sacrificial pit to receive some food as well so maybe if one unit gets really low health or you just you decide you don't want that class anymore you can get rid of that these are the class that we currently have we have one tank one fencer one shooter. I won't go into super detail about what each one does right now since we might switch this up very quickly anyway. Anyway, let's start the battle right here. So you just hit fight in the bottom right that you can't really see. And then the game does its work. So we can move units around and everything. Oh, don't let the newbie die. Okay, good. Would have been such a waste if they did. Kind of like getting this. This is a healer. So we can grab a healer really quick and probably hold out after that, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, could get a chainsaw. It's interesting. Delve into the fighters or something. Nah, I kind of like upgrading a lot early on. We'll give this one the healer capabilities, and it seems good. I haven't really done a run without healers. I'm not certain how you do it, honestly. All right, so yeah, you can buy humans here too if you want, but using your tokens wisely is just very, 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 very important. You got to be very careful with how you spend money and stuff like that. So upgrading the shop, you can upgrade it to get higher rarities on all the different classes and increases your odds and things like that. And you have mutations here too. So here are mutations you get at any point, really, and they cost different amounts of money. It is sort of like a skill tree. This resets when the run's over, by the way. There's not really any permanent upgrades in this game, by the way. Nothing like that. There's a lot to cover here, and I apologize if I'm skipping details and stuff, but there's a, there's a sort of like a lot going on. Hmm, looks like we should be fine here. Ugh. Jeez, I have, like, no no range damage for this stupid little enemy here. I might just sack the shield unit, because they might die soon anyway. Healer's not really covering it. Throwers have a 20% chance to deal times 3 damage on attack. We don't currently have any throwers. I haven't had any luck uh, using throwers as a unit, either. But I can't really change what I get there, so I guess we'll have it. 
Yeah, I think this shield uh, amendment's just gonna die in the next room anyway, so I might as well send him to the pit, earn a little bit of food back. Nah, now we spend less food. Obviously, we're in kind of rough shape at the moment, but sometimes this is what happens at the start of runs. Uh, like this. All right, I don't think I really need to change up anything here. Maybe move them all forward. I don't know. Is that wise? Maybe. Maybe not. All right, we really need something in the next room. This is a food room. You can see it on the mini-map there. I really don't need this food yet. I can probably hold out and not get anything. This makes rerolls cheaper. I don't really need it right now. That's plus HP, but it's pretty expensive. Hopefully we can survive another room here without losing any more units. Gonna hope and pray. Maybe we wanna push them back. I don't know. Try to give the healer a, a slight extra millisecond to heal here. Come on, kill one! Uh-oh. Another lost run so early. We might be okay. Whew. But the boss is the next room, so it could get really dicey. Alright, so we got something for tricks. No, sorry, never mind. That was the last run. <laughs> got something for throwers. No throwers in the shop yet, though, sadly. i probably take this healer. This is like an advanced healer, but it's kind of too expensive uh, for now, and I need something else uh, to actually survive here. I did get our shield back, 50% chance of that, but I don't know how useful it is, honestly. I, I've done pretty well with Tricksters. Trickster class gets uh, dodge capabilities, and they're just decent tank types, it seems, so I think I'm going to do that. Can't afford anything else, right? All right. So, two healers. So I have very, very, very little damage. No, come back. Which is not ideal, obviously. Alright. To the boss room. This is it. That's it for here. Okay. So, you get synergy, like, uh, the heal ability, since I have two different types of healers, they have to be different ones. Different rarities. There's only one rarity, uh... There's only one class per rarity, if that makes sense. So this is the common healer. This is like the uncommon healer. So the heal heals more, the more different types of healers that you have. Sorry, I know there's a lot. So it's all about getting synergies and stuff like that. And also watching what mutations you do and do not get, I guess, uh, and things like that. And trying to spend your money wisely, taking risks when you can. All right, this is the first boss. Not a whole lot to it. After this floor, I'm going to speed up the gameplay just because otherwise the video is going to last really, really, really long. All right. Looks like we're super tanky with a double healer setup, uh, at least, so that's fine. All right. Boss down so we can just go to the next floor. Let's speed everything up. In terms of music, sound effects, and graphics, the graphics are kind of nice. You know, it's a pixel art game. It's not bad. There's a chest ahead, a mimic, obviously, or not. Shoot first, think later. Which one's Slava? They're the basic healer. So there's a bunch of risks when you enter a new floor. There's usually like some kind of cute little like story slash hint thing going on. Is it a mimic? I'm gonna shoot it. It wasn't a mimic. Unfortunately, you've damaged some of the treasure and only received 10 tokens. Dang it. Ooh, I could get a third healer type already. Interesting. I could start going into throwers now. I have 19. I, okay. I might take a risk here. We still have a good amount of food, so I'm not really worried about that. This is pretty good. I mean, that's a pretty good uh, blah, 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 shooter, so I can go into shooters here a little bit more. A little tempting. Dang, but the dollars don't really work out very well for us here, I think. It's the only issue I have with that. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, a third healer type just seems really, really, really good right now. Plus, I really want to try the thrower class. I haven't used it much. They have a bomb ability that gives them massive AoE damage. Maybe I can do, like, throwers and tricksters. I know I have a single shooter right now, but maybe we ditch them or something like that. So we do, like, throwers, tricksters, and healers. Because I don't know how to play without healers right now. Now, I couldn't afford any new humans there. So I'm just holding that stuff in my inventory for now, hoping that we'll survive for a little bit longer. I'm not going to be able to buy humans in uh, this one, either. But it seems like we're doing okay. Should I buy this food or not? So I can spend three coins for 11 food. Right now, we will last for five chambers without running out of food. Um, Five is a pretty decent number. I think. I think we're okay. 
And this way we can get the more efficient food. We can save up and get the more efficient food next time. 35 food for nine. It's not like way more efficient. It's just slightly more efficient. We're gonna try to hold out and save for that. Oh, there's no more food rooms surrounding us anymore right now, sadly. Okay, that's fine. We can't re-equip. When someone's equipped with something, you can't take it off of them. If you could do that, then things would be very, very, very different. All right, so this is uh, three mutations. You get two free rolls here at the start. This is for cultists. We don't have any. This is for shooters. Shooters can stun enemies 1.5 seconds every 13 seconds for 40 mana. Not bad. This is a healer one. Once per fight, healers can rise from the dead with 20% health if they have 120 mana. I don't know if that's good. Only if they have a bunch of mana, huh? You can upgrade their mana pool and stuff. Uh, I really wanted to try the throwers. So I think I'm not going to buy take... You don't even pay for this. This is free. I think I'm just going to take the healer one. Might not come into great use, but that's okay. The four corners here means that uh, you can teleport back to that room if you want. If you find another teleporter room, that is. Okay, this looks fine. Single enemy. Fine. Very good. So it starts off pretty easy. All right, here we go. I already have a ping pong paddle. So you don't really want a bunch of the same type, uh, the same exact one. This So this is a different trickster you can tell from the icon. So I wouldn't want a second ping pong paddle, not right now at least. Gosh, I got a bunch of goodies right here, I gotta say. I really want the stale pretzel because that's another thrower, but I should probably take another trickster because this is very strong for now. Let's take a trickster, and then I need three new humans. Now, since we were surviving, I probably could have held out and not uh, actually taken a human for the healer, basically. And thus spared some food and stuff like that. I think I ditched the shooter now for food. And plus, this way we consume less food also at this rate. Because I don't think we're going to go that way. Once you leave this shop, it's gone. You can't use it again. So I gotta spend some money on food in the next room. So let's go this way. Looks like we're at a dead end here. I actually don't want you in the front. But they have quite short range. They are a ranged class, but their range is not very long. So they will have to move forward to some degree here. They're an AoE class, it feels, 100%. Let's take the big food. This way we last for quite a few chambers here. We can teleport back here, but it's the same? Oh, not quite the same. Doesn't consume food to teleport, so that's useful. I'm gonna try to explore all the rooms for now. You get money uh, just for fighting enemies and stuff. We should be very, very, very strong right now. So I don't really need to think too hard about this stuff. All right, I'm not gonna reroll or anything. I think I upgrade though, that's fine. Invest in that, invest in some permanent stuff. All right, this is a cute little interaction. Gahoof of gods. Bahugu Gads, if anyone has seen Homestar Runner, by the way. Excuse me, what? Bring me five pink, soft, gentle, defenseless. Looks like it wants a sacrifice of five newbies, which cost you five coins and cost you some food, too, when you think about it. Uh, the thing is, though, I think this is like the last chamber. I th I know what happens here. You throw in a couple coins, stop throwing these thingies at me, 25 tokens are spit back at you from the pit, more than you threw there, the unknown goes silent. So you get like 25 coins out of it. It's not, it's pretty good. Oh, there was another one where I could have bought some humans. Oh, well. There's a lot of ethical questions in this game, you could say, probably. <laughs> Healers are attacking because there's no one to heal right there. Nothing I actually want here. And I probably... I mean, that these are, re these are epics and stuff like that, but we don't want to go into those classes really. We want to focus on another one. So maybe we upgrade something here. I'm thinking we take the rerolls, make rerolls cheaper. But I'm still not even gonna roll for anything because they're really, really strong, and I don't want to spend too much on like food right now and stuff, right? Let's just get the health bonus. It's a pretty big health bonus there. Rerolls only cost one now, so that's really good. All humans receive plus 50% health. Quite nice, right? And we just have to walk back. All right, here we go. On to the next boss here. We should be really good here. The whip uh, guy is epic, so they have a lot of health. The higher the rarity, the more health and damage they deal and stuff like that. So you want all the different types of one class, but then you want to start 
the later on in the game you get, the more you want to pile on the, the higher rarity ones, you know what I mean? All right, new little thing. As they move to the next level, your humans come across an odd gentleman. He's wearing a blue suit and holding a briefcase. Ah, yes, you, Gomez. Uh, that's one of the healers, Gomez. You're coming with me. I'm low on agents. What is the world coming to? Freeman eat, eaten by zombies. Alex splattered by a giant tentacle robot. Hmm. Do I want to let them go? No. Shoo, will you? Okay, what'd they do? What happened? Do you even know who I am? You'd all be Zen food if not for me. Or combined slaves? What? That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'm resigned. Gentlemen, throws the briefcase at the nearest human. Disappears. Consumable dies on the spot. Oh no, that was one of my tricksters. But you find 20 tokens in the briefcase. Wait, they didn't die. They're right there. Okay, whatever. I think they took some damage, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, goofy little interactions, and they're usually references to uh, other games or movies or things. So I already have that healer. I don't have this trickster. I don't want to get too many humans going and have a high food cost, though. So I'm not going to bother rolling or anything here. I'm going to try to get more powerful by upgrading the shop. But there's only one left, so probably not yet. And then probably getting things like this. Attack speed bonus. Yeah, a taxi bonus sounds pretty good right about now. Let's go to the next room. When you go to the next floor, it's a very, very, very big increase in uh, uh, difficulty, though. It's a, quite a spike, usually, but we're very strong right now for the moment. But that won't hold forever. Ooh. I've had runs take, uh, especially when like learning the game and taking your time, is take as much as like two hours and stuff. It goes on pretty long despite this game being early access, surprisingly. That's a teleporter room, but even though, see how all three of these are purple, it means you haven't been there. Oh crap, I need to get some food. I just realized I'm actually in the negative. So yeah, armor 30% lower, damage 30% lower. So I can teleport to that room even though I haven't been there yet. So I think it's best not to walk into those rooms, but try to find another teleport instead. Go here, get some food. Good thing we're very strong right now. Okay, definitely that. So I will last for five rooms. I think that's enough and I'll hold out for now. Attack speed, more health. Hmm, more mana doesn't seem that great right now. Let's go this way. I don't want to go to the boss yet. Okay, that's good. There's a teleporter up ahead. This way I can teleport to the other one. Very good, looking good. Not bad. So that's for tanks. We're not using tanks this time. That's for fencers. Not using those. That's for cultists. Not using any of those classes. Roll it. What's this? For newbies at the start of the fight, newbies stay in place for 10 seconds. It sounds terrible. Ugh. I gotta roll it again. Please help me, game. That's for throwers. Throwers have a 30% chance to evade enemy attacks, maybe. If 50% humans die in a fight, other humans eat a unit of food per survivor and receive 50% bonus to armor and attack. Like a last resort kind of thing, right? When hungry slash starving, all units receive plus 50 to 80% to attack speed. I think I'm going to take the thrower thing, and I really got to invest in more throwers in the future. Those other two don't sound great to me. There's definitely, like, great meme potential in this game, I gotta say. There's definitely a lot of, like, weird combos you could probably get going and stuff like that that I'd love to try down the line. All right. Do I need to spend any? Oh, I have a lot of dough here. Uh, let's see. Maybe... What does that do again? Newbies receive more armor. I don't really care about that. More health is always helpful. More attack speed is always helpful. I don't think I... Do I really want to upgrade the shop yet? Not really. We seem still we still seem quite strong, so I don't think I need to try to recruit more humans. I can hold out, conserve money by not having to buy food. I will take that, because that's a unique thrower that we do not have yet. We have seven food, so I can walk through that room again before going to the boss. So I will explore down here. Might be a little risky. Oh, there's food in the next room. Perfect, then. Boyfect. Possibly even a little lucky. See, so yeah, I'm not going to actually get a human for this throw because it doesn't seem like we need it. Maybe at the start of the next floor. This is another trickster that we don't have. It's the most basic one, the cheapest one. We'll take that. By the way, guys, if you like the look of this game, please let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of it, 
If you don't like it, you can let me know too. I won't be offended. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with people telling me like, hey man, you know, I didn't really enjoy watching that game, but uh, glad you showed it to me so you know better than to buy it yourself kind of thing. It's cool. It's fine. Let's see. That'll last for five chambers right now. I'm going to hold out buying more food. Yeah, I need, like, I always need good feedback. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you want to see more? Do you not want to see more? Let me know in the comments below. All right, boss time. Looking pretty good. So Tricksters, now's a good time to probably show you some of the class bonuses here that I haven't quite shown yet. Let me do this first. The humans find an ancient half-ruined crypt covered in gothic stone carvings. Let's go in. Press the coffin, stands in the middle. Opening coffin like this usually marks the beginning of a marvelous adventure. Open, open, open. There is an ancient vampire in the common. Bald, winged, and toothy. Kindly stares. Shares his vampiric abilities. Fencers restore 5% health on attack now. I'm not using fencers, sadly. I think you can actually memorize a lot of these interactions and know what the correct choice is for them. Another shuriken thrower, but I don't think I want that. We're still looking pretty strong here. So anyway, tricksters... Uh, since we have three unique tricksters, they get the dodge ability. Once every 11 seconds, trickster evades an attack by backstepping. So they'll jump backwards that you'll see and, uh, evade an attack. I think it's actually really strong, personally. Really like the trickster. I haven't been able to use fighters use, uh, very much yet, and I'd love to find out how that works. I do have a trickster in the bag. I'm not certain how worried I am about dying, though, right now. Maybe I just buy some equipment and try to hold here. We're actually pretty far ahead in terms of this tree and stuff. I don't really need that regeneration yet. But, but, uh, nothing really good there, I'd say. That's a unique uh, thrower. I think I'll snag that. It's actually kind of perfect. Still got to hold and not buy two new humans. Hopefully the next chamber won't go really badly. Now, humans do level up, so there is a good reason to put them... Uh, into battle sooner. So you can see all their different levels here on their HP bars there. They level up as they kill, but I find they level up pretty fast. So what's the difference here, I wonder? It's kind of hard to tell. They get more HP, they deal more damage and stuff like that. They're all unique to each other, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference in level exactly. I think a, a economy just might matter a little bit more, at least right now. We're gonna buy the big food, and we will last... A good nine chambers almost. Eight chambers, I guess. So I don't need to buy any more there. Alright, more enemies. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Trickster is holding out really good. The healers are almost overkill at the moment. But they won't be forever. Might be a good time to use do the last upgrade in the shop while we feel strong. It might be good just to buy this tuna. It's the second highest thrower that you can get. Hmm... It's tempting. It's the upgrade or the thrower. I just don't know if I need that yet. I'm gonna upgrade. We hold out. All right, more food to the right. Yeah, let's go right. It's an empty room below. All you do is fight enemies. You do earn tokens from it, but it's not great, honestly. You can pause the game and like look at the enemies and see exactly what they do and stuff like that, but you can't control the battle in any shape or form, really. I think there might be some very, very uh, rare usable abilities from the middle of battle, but I haven't actually gotten any. I'll get the, eff the efficient food while it's here. We're gonna go up and get this mutation now. Hmm, sort of a dead end, too bad. Ooh, we got some big robots here. Looks like we're fine, though. No biggie. What do we got? All abilities are 1.18 times more likely to trigger. Hmm. You must consume 20% less food, but move 30% slower in a fight. Ooh, this is for tricksters. Tricksters heal themselves for 7% of damage dealt. We're going pretty heavy on the tricksters. I actually really like this one for economy reasons. 20% less food. But it feels like that's too good to turn down. I wonder if I could somehow get rid of the healers now, almost. I'm probably not going to, but it's a thought. I could probably hold out buying healers or something. I'm still gonna buy this food. The question is, do I keep exploring this floor now? Yeah, I mean, this teleporter's right up, right below the boss, so hopefully we'll just find another one by going this way. 
We are wasting a lot of food, though. Exploring rooms we've already been in cost you food, too, so... It's costing us money to explore here. Alright, looks like we kind of, uh... Made the right choice here, though, for the most part. I think it's good. God, I feel like I still don't need to buy any more humans, though, you know what I mean? I don't have the, the basic football thrower yet, so... We'll take that. So we have three... <laughs> three throwers in our inventory. Guess we'll get, we'll add health here? Do I want that or just attack speed? Maybe we save up for the big attack speed still. I've never really gone in. It goes from 50 to 100%. That's a lot, right? Seems pretty good to me. Yeah, let's hold. All right, we're good on food. We're good for many more chambers like this. Don't really need to do anything here. Hopefully this boss doesn't tear us up. Let's see. Uh, they're kind of getting to... Uh, yeah, they, they got a couple hits on the healers. Our damage is low for this, I'm noticing. Don't kill that healer, please. Woo! It's a little dicey. We took it risky, though. Now we can, now I definitely need to add some humans to the foray, which means I probably can't buy this yet. Let's just go to the next floor first. All right. A whiny quarter suddenly spits you out into a cozy bar. The barman tidies his hipster man bun and speaks. It's been a while since we had a customer. It's been an even longer while since we've had decent ingredients. I'm using what's left. I don't know what this is referenced to, but I feel like all these are references to something. All right. Ask no questions. Drink the glowing green liquid. Sure. Strange enough, the drink grants humans knowledge. You now know the contents of one room on each floor in advance. All right. Not bad. Ooh, we got a big healer right here. I do have a lot of coin. I could just hold on to it. I probably don't need to put them on the put them in the group yet. But I think snagging it now. I don't know. Maybe I should for the level's sake. It's always hard to know. Oh, that's where the boss room is. Interesting. We don't really want more throwers of that type right now. If it was a higher rarity like the tuna fish or greater, I'll buy it. Let's get all three of these throwers going now for more damage dealing purposes. And I'll throw you what the I'll show you what the thrower does exactly. Hmm. Alright, thrower bonus. So it has a bomb ability. Now, the more throwers you have, the better the bomb is. 170 AoE damage. So they're really good for big groups of enemies, as you can imagine. Another trickster could be very strong. Maybe I'll do another trickster too. And uh we'll try to hold it there, I think, honestly. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's go down and we'll teleport back here, hopefully. Food looks good still for the most part. I don't really want to have to buy too many more humans now. So now we dodge like every eight seconds or so. Oh! We lost that trickster already. Really need to get their levels up. Okay, so we got another thrower here. And that's the legendary one. So we'll be four out of we'll be five out of five on throwers. I still don't think I need to necessarily drop the our healer here. I'm gonna just leave this trickster a little more in the back, and hopefully they just don't get themselves cream pied too much here. Now let's hold out, and maybe we can do plus health or something soon. I don't think I want anything else here. Yeah, that's fine. Hold. Hold the line. These are very ranged enemies here. All right. So we got 53 food. We got 12 people. So that'll last for four rooms right now. Let's buy one of these. And we're good for a pretty good number of rooms. Good teleport there. Let's teleport here now. No new rooms here. You can teleport for free. It doesn't cost food. You might as well check the rooms and stuff when you can. All right, that's fine. Anything really good here? That's another new healer. I probably take it, but don't drop them. I'm thinking. So we're holding out dropping them because we don't want to spend the money on more food and stuff. I'll just buy that and hold on to it, like with the other one. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's just teleport back and check this room on the left first before we do anything else. Dead end here. Okay, this is fine, it looks. 
Ooh, don't die. Paddle boy's looking a little rough now. All right. None of the classes I want. I don't really want to spend money on re-rolling right now. I think I mostly... I'm going to get the big healer out. We got the angel out on board now. I don't think they necessarily heal for more, though. Uh, everyone's heals are stronger, but they just have more health and stuff like that, I believe, compared to the other healers. More health. They don't even necessarily have more mana, but maybe they will if when they're more leveled up and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to move this guy back while he's so injured. Okay, so we're going to walk this way. Music of the game. It's it's all right. It definitely wore on me really fast, so I'll, I'll be honest. Should I teleport and explore over here? Seems awful expensive. Ooh, I can get this now. Let's get that now. We'll just walk this way, I think. More health. Sounds good. Okay, let's go. Get that health back. A little bit of slowdown and stuff like that. It's a very cute game. I really like the uh, the planning involved and stuff like that. It's definitely not reaction-based or just kind of try and build. And there's a, a good amount of variety already. But it is early access, so there's bound to be more uh, coming up soon, too. Okay, let's go. We're looking pretty strong now, I'd say. Let's see. Don't really want any of them. Oh, I wanted this. That's the legendary trickster. I can't. I don't have a way of earning any money, though. Doesn't seem like it's worth going back, honestly. I'm good for only four rooms? It's not a lot. I don't have a lot of food. We should be fine for now. Let's move on. I don't feel the need to get this healer out still. Uh, this boss is really easy for us because it's a slow attacker. So the tricksters just continuously dodge over and over, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, that healer took some D, though, huh? Move them backwards. Let's swap these two healers because this one has way more HP. We Down we go. Let's see what we got here. Is no one here brave enough to challenge our champion? What about you, courageous pink humans? Is there a true warrior in your midst? A straightforward pair fight, no mutations, to the death. Obviously, the winner gets 30 tokens. Natasha, who is our legendary thrower. Risk it! Knock Lee and Natasha enter the arena. Bam, crash, crunch, spectacular. Oof, and that must hurt. Oh, no, it doesn't because Natasha is dead. What? No! Obviously, our champion won easily. Hope someone can... Throw his leg back still. Knockley wins and Natasha goes to our bioreactor. He must receive 10 tokens as compensation. That was incredibly bad for me. What is that, like a 50-50? Lord. So yeah, we lost our best thrower. This is really annoying. <laughs> We're on a new floor, so... Oh, okay, good. I got the, the bomb equipment back. Thank God. At least there's that. All right, all right, all right. Not not that bad, really. I really want the last trickster. I think it's worth grabbing this whip. Honestly, right away. Maybe with that we'll be okay, and I'll try to hold out for... something in here, probably. I don't know if I should go health, or maybe I should get more mana right now. I don't even know if the... The only one using mana right now is... uh the healers, and I don't know if they're really running out, honestly. Why is this healer running in and attacking? Please stop. What's the matter with you? You're at full health now. Go up here or something. Lord. Know your place, my friend. Alright. I could get and try to get all the way into here. Another altar per level. An altar is what offers you a mutation. It's really strong. So we can get the sale going. I should have done that already. Free mutation roll, but now we gotta save up to 60. We'll try our best. We're on floor 6. It's kinda late to be going for that. Not super late, but late enough to where it's questionable, probably. We're looking pretty good right now. Another legendary thrower. It's hard to turn down, huh? I still need the last uh, trickster. I have the healer in inventory, but we just don't need them out, it feels. I'll buy this and hold, I think. I need to buy food in the next room. So it's going to be a while before I get that altar. 
All right, looking fine. I really wish this healer would stop going to the front lines. Can't afford the big food. Yeah, the giant heap of meat. Giant elephant worth of meat. I'm only good for a couple chambers here. Oof, and I'm walking back. There's no connected rooms. Yikes. Just wasting a lot of money, it feels now. I could potentially earn enough money to buy that big heap of meat, though, so we can teleport back into it, potentially. Make it somewhat worthwhile, at least. Okay, nothing else to do here. Two, only two more rooms before I run out of food. Definitely gonna have to buy that big heap of meat, huh? Don't kill my angel. You move on back a little bit, honey. All right. <clears throat> I'm never getting that altar. I wonder if it's a waste to even go for it now. We got two stilts right here, but I can only afford one. I definitely buy one. And I think I get them out there now. Start getting the levels on them, basically. Hmm. Let's go to this room. I'm gonna do this too. Get the levels on them again. All right, onward. Let's get our free mutation here. Okay, so laggy when you enter combat. Okay, I don't know why you're dying, but please stop. Guess those enemies just hit you from a range, huh? You need to be surrounded by other healers or something right now. So, yeah, let's get like way back here. Take it easy for a minute. Okay, what do we got here? These are classes we're not using, so don't even look. All ability cooldowns are 1.11 times lower. Not bad, huh? The bomb AoE is a cooldown. I think the dodge is a cooldown. Guess I'll take it. That seems like it's really common to get. I can buy this big food now and just teleport right back, so that's good. Go this way, we got a little event room. Oh! There's a there a unit just ran out of the room if you miss it. Get him, get him. Uh, who are you? Is an obvious death himself, the Reaper, Thanatos, a Shinigami, if you will. So is this it? Our run's over. Nah, I'm here on my own business. Your time is nigh, and it's not right now. Could you catch and kill this hater for me? The person who just ran away. And I reward you somehow. I am death himself after all. I got swag. We'll try. So you're supposed to chase him down. You don't have to, but they're going the way we need to go anyway, so that could work for us. I probably don't even go to the right here. It's probably a dead end. Doesn't seem worth it, honestly. You... Let's... Yeah, that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Please don't die, Angel. Yes. Healers heal each other. Thus is your purpose now. Very good. Nicely done. Alright, we got 16... Units. 81 foods. So that only lasts for... Not uh, four or five chambers. It's not many. I think I still try to hold out, though, honestly. Uh, we're chasing this dude down. Alright, looks like they went into the boss room, interestingly. It's no big deal, though. We're pretty strong. I think we're fine. I don't think I buy that. I don't. I think we're going to be too late to get the plus one altar. I think I just go a different route now, honestly. I need to save up for a big chunk of food. But we're also about to earn some tokens from that guy we're chasing down. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're gooch to just go on ahead. Wait, don't let the Reaper take me. I'll pay. How much? 30 tokens. Fine, I'll take 30 tokens. I think the game, often those choices are take tokens or get a random mutation. It's because they're random mutations, I don't necessarily feel like they're they're worth it, you know? I do feel like the number of healers we have is kind of overkill, and I wonder if I should sack, like, the weakest healers or something like that. But I don't know. We'll leave things the same for now. Things seem to be going pretty well. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry that, like, this is kind of taking a while, and you might... There's, like, a lot going on. There's a lot to take in and stuff like that. But runs do be long. They're, your first runs are not going to be this long, just to be clear, though. Do I do the max health here, maybe? Is that even good with tricksters, I wonder? I'm gonna do attack speed. Focus a little bit more on that. If enemies die faster, we can't lose, right? 
A dragon. The humans encounter a dragon. No, that ain't it. The humans encounter a dragon. A giant, beefy, armored creature that flies and breathes fire. Two large D6 dice are lying on the table. Put note for Sudoku lovers. Small cubes with a number on each side that people use to play fun games. What? Sudoku lovers? Huh. Summon critical luck and roll the dice. Lovely dice. Let's grab them and scram while we can. So I can steal the dice. Or I can roll with lady luck. I had bad luck earlier, so I'm bound to get good luck here, right? Oops, 2-1. Sergey ends his journey in the dragon's belly. The creature then flies away. I lost one of the whip folks. That's incredibly bad. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Do I grab another thrower here? Do I roll for... I can use some more units, but I also need to save up for food here. I probably don't roll because our next chamber is just another another uh, human shop here, so... Hmm, interesting. Too bad I can't do anything with, like, this shield or anything after it's in, sitting in my inventory. Uh, it's a pretty good thrower. Oh, I can't even buy a human, too. I'd have to buy it and walk out. Hmm, interesting. I really need tricksters, I think. I think I hold. I need more tricksters to tank the damage, I think, is the problem. Get the paddle guy out front, I think, here. Alright, so this is where the, the uh, throwers are going to do a lot of work. Because they are big AoE damage, basically. Okay, let's do something like that. And we got a bunch of small enemies in these chambers. Throw those bombs, baby. Hope we're doing okay. It's kind of hard to keep track if you start losing units, especially at this point in the game. So there is a death log here to show you. We've only lost one unit so far total, which is not easy to have happen, but we got another whip back. I think that's worth it. 100% here. Let's do that. I'd love to stack more tricksters more than anything, I think. After that, yeah, I want more throwers, but it's not worth rolling here because we just don't have that much money. Yeah, and I need uh, to buy a big food here if we can, hopefully. Pretty much the same thing, a bunch of green skellies. It's too bad all the throwers, like, use their AoE at once, though. Maybe I can change their... Maybe I can change it up, you know, and, like, stagger them a bit. So that, uh, you know, they don't all use their AoE all at once kind of thing. We'll try it. We'll see how that works. Big food. We are good for a bit. We'll try to teleport back to that room. So let's go get this mutation first. Okay. It's hard to tell if the, the staggering on the AoE worked well. Might have to... Oh, that healer's going down. Down. Don't go down. Whew, barely survived. I don't know why you're on the front line, my friend. Let's see. Let's move you even further back, maybe. When healing, healers grant plus 50% attack speed for 5 seconds. Alright. All units have a 20% chance to use an active ability, ignoring its cooldown to mana cost. So the bomb is a uh, active ability. Each time active ability is used, a random opponent takes 50 damage. 50 is not a lot anymore. Early on, it seems like it's alright. Let's do the healer, I think. Sometimes they're just healing themselves, so it's not that good for sure, but... It's fine, I think, for now. Alright, onward. I should probably drop our last healer very soon now. Okay, looking fine. Okay. Fine and dandy like sour candy. Yeah, let's drop our last healer, try to get them some levels here and stuff. Everyone's practically at full health, so everything seems pretty good. We'll walk into this food room. I have a good amount of money. We're five out of five on all three classes we're focusing on, so now we just want a bunch more of the higher quality ones, really. I think it's way too late to do the altars, I think. Kinda hard to say. I'm definitely not an expert at this game. As of uh, this recording, I've played for like 10 hours. Decent amount. I got really addicted. That's why I want to show everyone. Maybe I should have said that at the start of the video, but yeah. I got this game yesterday, and I put 10 hours in it already. So that's how you know it's pretty good. 
Early access. I can't remember the price. I'm sorry. I'm sure you can find that on Steam, though. It's probably only on Steam for now. But it might be in more places later on once it leaves early access. Ooh, that pretzel, the pretzel boy took some damage over there. It's a bit too far out. Probably grab the tuna while I can. Yeah, probably not the pretzel. It's just too too low, honestly, now. I'm going to go in and equip them now, too, I think. Put you right there. Okay, let's just teleport back. Shouldn't need that food. We're good for 10 whole chambers, so... Let's just go fight the boss now, I think. Okay, looking good. Not much else to really do here, it looks. Go ahead. Gonna get lots of AoE going here. Problem is that bomb ability has such a long cooldown, it feels. Ooh, someone's taking some damage. No one died, though, so we're fine. Maybe I take the max health again here. This is regen. Humans restore 3% health after a fight. If I didn't have healers and I went more for, like, DPS or something, you'd probably go into that, right? They you forget it to the healers. I think I'll try to save up for max HP or something now. Something. Humans encounter a cute little animal in a robe. It is sitting on a large rock in the lotus pose. Its four paws fold on its knees. How cute. Let's catch it and eat it. Oh, great fluffy master. However, did you get on that giant rock? You must have found great wisdom and immense power. Please teach us. I've been waiting for you, you hairless monkeys. You can't enter the hidden temple. The animal attacks the humans, mops the floor with them, and leaves. No one died, but the humans have lost 5% health. Oh, come on! Okay, so I know... Don't attack Yoda? I don't know. Who is that supposed to be? I'm gonna say probably Yoda. I'm still gonna buy another whip here. And just send him out. That's what I get. Shouldn't have attacked Yoda. Alright, onward. Mutation room. Let's go, baby. There's a huge difficulty spike in the next biome. There are kind of different biomes. The last one's the only one that's really different, I say. Tracers receive 100% more experience. Max level is 5. I think I just take it. Tricksters will die and stuff. I think it's okay. It's not very fun, I'd say, probably, but here we are. I'll go to this food room, probably buy another big food. We're on level 8. I think level 11 is the last one, which is a random number. I think that's what it is, though. Looks good. Oh, there's no big food. Yeah, they stop offering you big food eventually, which is disturbing. Or maybe it's just random, not sure which. Okay, we're fine though. We're looking pretty good. These guys res, which can be a problem because if my throwers start trying to make their way forward, it could be problematic, huh? Hmm. All right, another legendary thrower. Seems pretty good. I'm never gonna afford that max health upgrade, am I? Maybe I don't get them out yet because we seem pretty strong. Maybe I put more throwers like toward the back for these levels or something, especially the football-y one. They do, they will just walk forward and stuff, but might help stagger the bombs and stuff. Maybe try to do that or something. Okay, that's fine. Everything's looking fine here. No problem. More food. We are good for six or seven rooms, I think. Like seven. Seven rooms is a decent number. Let's hold, I think, here. Let's not buy food. Maybe we can buy a big hunk of meat instead. Let's go right. Yeah, maybe the next room will have a big hunk of meat or something. Just gotta make sure I don't spend too much here if I do want that. There we go. This... Skeleton summoning went better, although some of the medics are losing health. We're fine, though. Uh, yeah, another trickster. There's two here, but might as well get the legendary. It's kind of hard, like, to turn them down now. Tricksters are getting very high level now. So I wind up, like, never saving up for some of these really expensive mutations, it feels. But, I mean, we're doing okay. This video went incredibly longer than I sort of planned, but there's not much else I can do. I'm not going to take a dive. 
Maybe I should have? Probably not, though. Hmm. Good for five chambers. Maybe I just check one of these. Earn some money here. Am I really earning money if I'm spending so much on food, though? I don't know. Owen died. That trickster got dangerously low, though. You need to take it easy, my, my pal. No, not you, not you. Go back, please. You. Take it easy. I don't see anything special here. Yeah, I think we just walk over and do the boss now. Do I get another thrower going? Sure. Start getting that experience, please. Can't teleport to the boss room. Okay. Only good for three chambers. Yeah, I gotta buy that. Alright. Boss time. Big skeleton. I think we'll be fine. We will be fine. I don't know how good our single target damage is. Seems like we've invested in a lot of AoE. Might be able to afford that big uh, mutation now. Let's see. The structure. The humans come across a strange tall structure with two giant balls at the base. You don't say. The small door is suspiciously open. Screw this. Let the whole lot of us barge in. We're only sending two people to check it out. We're just sending Billy the Jouster. Why don't we send Malin? 50% more humans emerge from the structure. No comments. Okay. <laughs> um, is there anything I want to buy here? Doesn't look it. So I get a bunch of food out of it, basically? Because that's what's going to happen here. Good thing I had a lot of units, I guess. I don't see anything I want right here, and I don't feel like rolling for it still. I just sack them all. We can teleport back to that food room below us, probably, so let's go upward. Uh, this is where enemies can get start getting very, very difficult. I think we're actually really good against these enemies, but you'd really have to pay attention to them. It's a stuffed scavenge, devours and digests the nearest enemy. So they'll they'll like swallow an enemy and start chewing on them, and they're very likely to die when they do that. Is the uh, is what happens. All right, I don't think I want another big healer. I just don't think it's necessary for us. Uh, I think we just keep things. I think I take another legendary thrower though. Still, it's just way too much damage to turn down. Which means I can't get that max health upgrade right now, but that's okay. Maybe I don't dig them out yet, though. Okay. Tomatoes and a cabbage. Looks like we should be okay against this type of enemy. There is another type of enemy coming up that could uh, ruin our day, though. Quite a bit. Because of the dodge, I think we're really good against that. Throwers knock normal-sized enemies back on attack. That doesn't sound great, especially right now, right? That doesn't even sound good even early game. We definitely have a lot of throwers, but it doesn't sound useful. Oh no. No one can use abilities for three seconds. That's almost good for grouping enemies when you think about it, right? For the throwers. Is that good? Does that mean dodge won't get triggered? Doesn't sound good enough. I don't have any of these three classes. Please! What's that? If there are more opponents than humans, each human gets plus 10 armor per each extra opponent. Well, it's not going to be great. Eggheads towers can now perform a ranged attack. I don't have eggheads. That's for shooters. I guess I have to take Valor. That was pretty bad. Not great, I would say, at the least. Uh, let's get the max health now increased. Might as well. Hopefully I have enough food. Just got some tomatoes here to take care of. I wish the healers wouldn't, like, rush in like idiots, though. I think if there's no one to heal, that's kind of what happens. Let's teleport here, fight these enemies. I should have enough to buy a big heap of meat if it's here. Very good. We're now good for 10 chambers, so I don't think we need to buy any more, really. Go this way. This guy totally looks like Krang from Teenage Ninja, Ninja Turtles, right? 
Well, sure hope we won't have to fight this thing. Of course not. If it wants to eat us, it'll eat us. There won't be a fight. Silly punk, pu silly puny pink humans. Daddy Murgle won't hurt you. Daddy Murgle has gone vegan now. A doctor wearing a funny bird mask who told me I need a healthy diet and positive attitude. Yeah, baby, health rocks is exactly what you need to survive in a place like this. That's what I keep saying. The old me would intimidate you into doing my bidding. The new me will just politely request it. Could you please bring me five cabbage? I'll pay. All right, so yeah, we just kill some many enemies. They'll drop cabbage now, and we can bring them to them. You don't even have to backtrack necessarily because uh, I don't think I can go, really go backwards here. That's fine. Because uh, you can actually see the bottom half of that that dude in the next floor. Uh, okay, we're looking pretty good, huh? Couple cabbage. Uh, nothing I really want there. Let's get this next thrower out here. Put him more towards the front or something, maybe? You know, that goes. Okay, I don't think I want to roll for anything. Maybe I'd roll for a trickster. Getting pretty close to the end here. Hmm, maybe I could. Nothing good there, I'd say. Get a whipster. Let's get a whipster. They're still good, I think. They gain, they gain experience fast, too, so. Seems like it can't be wrong. Let's move the spear guy since they're lower rarity. Back one. Actually, I think spear is above the ping pong paddle. Not positive, though. All right, we're looking fine. Like, fine design here. Let's swap the stilt guys here to make sure they're going to be tanking the boss, probably. All right. Someone almost died. Who was that? The ping pong dude. I even sent him further back, too. Strange, huh? All right, put him back there. I have 35 money. Yeah, let's just go down. It's fine. I have enough cabbage for Krang now. Murgle, whoever they are. Astrologers became the week of, huh? What week? Lancers! Trickster's growth plus one. What does that mean, growth plus one? I don't know, it doesn't really say. Does that mean they gain more levels? Don't know. Not a big deal. Nothing here. Don't necessarily need to save up money for food. Not that much, at least. Is there anything I'd get here now? I don't know if I really want the mana. Maybe the all ability cooldown is pretty strong now. I'll get that, just for the healers. And this is only five tokens for 20% magic defense. Seems like I should have done that a while ago, honestly. All right, let's go. New enemies here. I don't really know what they do. I've never figured it out. Lowers all human armor for 20. For 20? Cool down four seconds. So it lowers their armor, but they don't attack that much. And they do attack some. No one died. We're good there. Alright, where are we going? I wonder if I should just head for the boss a little bit. We're good for, like, nine chambers. Maybe not nine. Eight chambers on food. We gotta go see Kraid on the left here. The big boy, but I don't think they're much of a danger to us. We just dodge so much here. Oh, they have some weird AoE. You can see, like, a bunch of people took damage there. Alright, another tuna, maybe? Lots of throwers. Uh, I kind of need some food. I think I'll still do it. We're good for four chambers on food right now. Let's see. Let's put you more toward the front, maybe? Or maybe swap you two or something. All right. See Kraid now, then fight the boss, then maybe get food right after. We'll see. I was getting restless. Well, at least uh, it won't take long for the leaves to get into my belly. All right. Feed them the thing. So we get to choose 30 tokens or some kind of mutation, I think. I don't know how many more tokens I really want right now. They seem to be diminished in value. Give me a mutation. Humans want power, Murgle. You've received a mutation. Which one? Oh, it's for fighters. I don't have a single fighter. Dang it. Yeah, that's why I feel like that's never really the right option, honestly. Alright, let's try to get this food, I guess, real quick. Ooh, maybe I get this free mutation, too, while I'm over here. 
If this is the group of enemies I'm thinking of, I might get ruined here. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Okay, we're pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. We need to take a step back. There's a lot of healing to get done here. I just buy the big food, 100%. We're good for, what is that, six rooms? It's not many, really. Some more of these dudes. And then we can teleport back, go to the food room. And we should be good. I apologize if that sound effect is abnormally loud. All right, what do we got? Well, I have to go back in time once to a time when all European humans were still alive, mutation active. So I get to use it, I think. Doesn't seem good. All abilities are 1.18 times more likely to trigger. I don't know if that's good for me. I don't think I have a lot of chance triggers here, really. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem great. I think we skip that, actually. I think we have to roll here. Please don't cram me. These are bad. I can summon a tomato. What else you got? Also bad, 50% of humans buy, die. Come on, help me! Oh, something for tricksters. When dodging attack, tricksters deal 200 splash damage. That's really good. Baby, that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's go. All tricksters all the time. I don't know if 200 damage is that much, but it seems pretty strong either way. We're dodging a lot, that's for sure. Looks like we healed more for that fight than we got injured. I think I honestly just teleport and skip this room. Get a little bit more food here. I think the next floor is the last. Okay, it's fine. Just more of those. Take them out. Easy game. This is on normal mode. I did it like very vanilla. There is a hard mode. There is also an easy mode, which is nice. For those of us who don't want to bang our head against the wall. Um... Could do more magic defense right now. Might not be a bad idea. I don't think I need mana is the thing. Maybe I hold out and see if we can get some units on the next floor or something. Cerberus, no! You've betrayed us! Oh, some healers are getting hurt over there. Oh, I lost some! Oh, I lost a few! Oh no, we lost our legendary healer. And two jousters. Wait, why two? I had two common jousters? Apparently I had two common jousters. I, luckily I got all the equipment back. So it could be worse. Oh, I lost... Oh, I lost a, a stilt also. Yikes, that went really badly then. And a bunch of healers almost died too. Well, I'm definitely saving my money for some stuff here. Please go down. Yeah, it definitely gets kind of dicey. I think those enemies were kind of bad for us. Oh, here we go. Here's the reference everybody wanted to see. A lonely swordsman with a fancy wreath walks up to you. Hey, human, so I have escaped hell after all. Could you please direct me towards Olympus? We've no idea where we are. We've. It's also very possible you're still in hell. Lots of evil things here. First, trace history back a couple of millennia. Then use GPS to reach ancient Greece. Then ask some Greek. Right? Should I say that? That seems rude. I think I did uh, this one before and it went badly. Jokes are good, but think again, maybe. We've no idea where we are. Likely you're still in hell. Lots of evil souls here. Swordsman sits down. This must be the 3,414th circle of hell, then. I'm not sure I can go on like this. Sometimes it's wise to ask yourself whether you're doing... What you're doing is dumb, and if it is, stop it. Of course you must go on. Come with us. Something tells me the way won't be too long. I think I've said this. I think that's what I chose the first time. And he said, fuck you, basically. So I'm going to choose the other one. You're right, human. You hear that, father? I'm coming to you. Having announced that, a stranger drives the sword through his own face. <laughs> yeah, this place is full of intriguing people. At least you can take the sword. Oh, that's not helpful. I don't I don't need that sword. That's for the fighter, fencer class, rather. Ooh, okay. What do we got here? I gotta recover a couple here. So we need that trickster back. We need that healer back. You just sit in the back and sit pretty. Another whip still seems pretty good for us. They gain XP fast and stuff, so you get up there. I don't think I'd want to buy any more of these, necessarily. Another whip? I think we do. 
I don't think I'll need to buy more food at this rate. I have so many whippy boys. Yeah, that's the final boss. It is level 11. Yeah, if we just go straight there, we shouldn't need it. Let's not bother spending money on rolling now, though, since the next room is at. I can skip all these, really, because it's just food. I think we have enough to get to the end. Who has low health here? Paddle, bo Paddle boy? Okay. Oh, wow. You are already very in the back. Please don't. Please don't die. All right. We already have that healer. So we still have five out of five on all these. But we just need some goodies here. Can't afford that one. Take the tuna. I guess so. I feel like the throwers are not going to be good against the final boss. It's kind of single target. But I guess we'll see how it goes, huh? We'll find out. Bring the tuna up here, baby. Get some XP going or something here. You might think, like, what's the downside to just equipping these people now? They'll probably just die. I think a pretty good height. Like, oh, these enemies are rough. They launch ads into the back. No, 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 no. No one died. Oh, they're so dangerous, though. So dangerous. Please don't die, my dude. All right, there is like a PvP kind of mode that's kind of interesting. All right, these enemies are easy. Then we're just gonna go straight to the boss. So we gotta spend all our money here, basically. Hmm. I could get a couple of fighters. They'd be level one. Is it even worth it? It doesn't feel it. I don't know. What else we got? Nah, nothing good. Still nothing good. I don't think that's good enough. Rolls only cost one. There we go. There's a stilt. I'll take that. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't have the money for the human. Didn't notice either. All right, so I roll and try to get a, another whip, I guess, or something. Pretzel sale. I think we can do a little better, hopefully. Can't afford it. If it was on sale, we probably could have, huh? Pitchfork. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Football's not good enough. Help me, game. I don't think paddle ball's good enough. Now I don't really have enough money. Not using shooters. Can't even afford the tuna now. Take the healer? I guess. It's a decent healer, I suppose. Could be worse, right? Put you up there try to heal some of these friends. Alright. Final boss time! Alright, so now it's a different format and stuff, as you can see here. Okay, let's space them out a little bit to try to tank a little bit better, I think. Swap you two. Y'all can come a little bit closer, I think. Not you, though, because you're almost dead. Not you, though, because you're almost dead. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Should be fine. I don't know how much thought there really is to the placement half the time. There's some thought, but I don't think it's like that intrinsic. You've completed my maze, but your team doesn't look strong enough for my purpose. I need high-tier humans with awe-inspiring mutations. You, I'll have to eliminate. Nothing personal. Oh, God, the lag. Okay, okay, no one's dead yet. We're going, we're going, we're going. Killed all the ads very quickly. There's another ad, though. Please, please be careful. Everyone's health is pretty good, though. They're keeping up pretty well. And the boss is down. Phase one done. Phase two, much harder though. All right, hopefully they do all right. I'd love to show you what's after the boss. I admit you aren't complete weaklings. I'll even have to assume my true form. Prepare to be recycled. All right. Ooh, run. Oh, we lost a healer. We lost a second healer. Ooh, the ads are out. Okay, okay, we're fine. Just down two healers for now. I think he just goes around rampaging on, like, random targets. Another healer down. Another healer down. Not Buttercup! 
All the healers are down. Literally every healer is down. Oh, but the boss is close. Lost, losing some shooters now. Not really killing the ads, but that's okay, maybe. And the boss is down. Oh, I still have to kill the ads. Woo, and we make it. Nice, but why are you surprised? LOL, you didn't think you destroyed the real me, did you? This was all a playoff, and you finally beat it. Now, King of the Hill awaits. All right. Final boss complete for early access. Now, arrange your humans one last time. You must fight the spots and their champions from other realities. Don't let me down. All right, so now we can face off other people's compositions. Unfortunately, the units I lost in that fight do stay lost. Uh, but I gained back some of their equipment. Not much, though, huh? I have some money to spend. But I think I buy that healer. Then we take one, two, three, four. And just get all the healers back. I didn't get any of the shooter stuff back, sadly. I think they're all level one now, so I don't know how useful that really is. There's a mutation that lets your healers heal from a range that I simply did not get, sadly. I feel like uh, formation matters a bit more now, but I don't really know how to strategize for that. I think we want to rush in either way, though, a little bit. Not you, though. You're almost dead. So now we get to face off other people's stuff. So I want to just throw something else out there. Just another random healer. Seems fine. They still heal for a lot. Oh, actually, I actually only have three different healer types. Okay, they don't heal for that much then. All right, let's do it. King of the Hill, let's go. You can turn that off now. All right, so it's going to select a random one here. Arthur Blacksheath. All right, let's go. There's their composition. Oh, nice. They got a lot of, uh, what are those, eggheads, I think? Dr. Octopus. I think I might get creamed here. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'm getting destroyed now. Yeah. Dr. Octopus, so tanky. That's okay. We get to face off another one. All right, so now they send us down on the ranking list. Random Patty. And we'll try to see if we do better against them. They have tanks and fighters and healers, it looks. My health is just so low for the fight. Okay, I got... Wow, I got destroyed even worse. Okay. It wasn't a great build compared to some other ones I've had. All right, Sticks from Hobo Entertainment. That's like uh, fighters, I think. Is that fight? No, fencers. Oh, no, they're whirlwinding. We did better, but... Oh, we win! Get Rex, son. All right, now we move up a little bit to see if we can get a better ranking. Peace, Yakins. See what we do. They got a whole smorgasbord, I'd say, here. A whole variety of different things. Lots of mages. Looks like I'm dying, though. Yeah, we lose really bad. Not good enough. Eladon, let's try you. Is that a Hot Pocket icon, I see? I can't change placements, sadly anymore. They have some cultists. Looks like we might win this one. I, had, I struggled to try to use cultists. They can summon the Cthulhu arms there. Oh, actually, I think I lose. Yeah, that's it. That's over, right? Rip. Okay, they're, okay, they're keeping me going. Fighting a bunch of numbers now. Yeah, we didn't do that great. That's okay. Beat the boss, you know? So that's something. Oh my god, I'm get, just getting annihilated. Holy crap. Their composition just destroyed me. And that's it. I'm ranked 88 in Group 7 of Greenhorn League. As your previous result was better, we will take your old team from 48th place and send this one to the Bioreactor. Yeah, the 48th is the best I've done. All right. And that's Despot's game. I know that was, like, a bit intense. Like, this was a pretty long one, I'll admit. Uh, for y'all, maybe we'll break it up into two videos or something. I'll discuss it with the editor, Andy, and you'll see, obviously. Remember to please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. I actually got addicted pretty quickly to it and experimenting with all the different builds. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!